Hi guys, good day. Today I'm going to show you on how to change the witness file share on the failover cluster uh, that is used in always on availability group or AOAG. Right now I'm going to show you my current configuration. I'm using a VMware workstation. I have domain controller two nodes, node 1 and node 2 for my AOAG and for my example I have with two witness here if fc underscore witness, failover cluster underscore witness as my current witness and I created a new one for the sake of this testing called fc underscore new underscore witness this will be the server where I will put the new share, the file share. Here is the, the current one, FC underscore. It has a folder share called AOAG FC underscore witness that contains a folder that has two system generated files, text files. All right. In the root directory, it has a share folders. I created this folder inside the failover cluster manager. I did not create this uh, this shared folder uh, from the server or from the uh, shared uh, server share, uh, where where the server is located. No, I did not create this one manually. I created this shared folder within the failover cluster. Right. I'm going to show you now. I'm in the node one. Um, I, I reckon this is the primary node. Let's have a look. Let's open SQL Server Management Studio. And also, let's open Failover Cluster Manager. Here in the Failover Cluster Manager, you will see the cluster where it is being used in the AOAG or the always on availability group this is the cluster that is being used right to be able to confirm just look for this name in my case it's failover underscore cluster this is the cluster that is being used in my AOAG to confirm i need to i'll open the Management Studio, Node 1, uh, this is, I reckon, the primary or currently the primary. Yeah, it is the primary right now. And to confirm uh, the cluster that is being used, right-click Show Dashboard. Expand this one. <coughs> and from the right side, you will see View Cluster Quorum Information. Click that one. And from here, you will see the cluster name being used for the failover. The sorry for the AOAG is the failover underscore cluster. In your case, it could be different name, but as I said, I could. This is confirmed that the this name failover underscore cluster. This is the one that is being used in the AOAG. See the one failover cluster, and now this. Setup has a file share. When you click the quorum information from the show dashboard, you will see that this AOEG configuration has a file share witness on it. And for example, in your in your case or in my case, I was assigned to change the fail the file share witness. In this case, it could be uh, the reason for it. It could be that the server that hosted the share, the full, the shared folder, is an old server and needs to be upgraded. So, and it needs to be, and it's an old server. And this shared file where the where rate stores the witness needs to be updated to a new server, right? So um, I'll show you how to change that one. So it's confirmed that uh, this AOAG 
has a file share witness configured on it and you will you are assigned to change the 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 server where the witness is located all right so let's close that one first then go to failover cluster manager and from here in the failover cluster manager in the witness file share witness it is inside the fc underscore witness in your case it could be different but in my example as i said from the first from the beginning it's in this server and in this server it has a folder called aoag underscore fc underscore witness in your case it could be different location in my example i stored it in, inside the root directory only for this for, to make it easier so let's go back to the node one <laughs> See the one FC underscore witness. This is the server and this is the folder name. So what right now we need to change that one. How do you change that one? If you're assigned to do, do to do this, normally only big companies or uh, like big companies that are you know needs keep on you know up, upgrading the servers needs required to update the servers. But normally if you are only a small company you don't normally change that one but uh it's easier to change i'll show you now if this is if if this is in a production server is if you are if this uh witness is used in a production server i recommend uh updating this in after business hours only to be safe right as a DBA, you must be, you know, cautious and be, you know, always do things in carefully. Make sure everything is safe. Okay, so right now, what you're going to do to change that one, right click on the fail the failover cluster and go to the more actions, configure cluster quorum settings normally when you change this one it will fail it will fail because if you if you follow the this uh wizard you go next and by default it is uh pre-configured because i already have the uh existing settings but i'll uh the reason why it is pre-configured because the current settings is a file share and in here select the quorum witness you can add a change quorum with this here or use default quorum with configuration now it is pre-configured because i already configured that one from there's already an existing one so you can choose advanced but i'll just click uh, select the quorum witness and click next and as i said it's configured pre-configured already because of the old settings uh configure a file shares it is selected automatically to configure a file share witness because it's a file share witness the current configuration is so click next now if you will change this one from here automatically you can change this is the old one fc underscore witness this is the old server here this is the old server if you change it for to a new server or it'll go here directly and look for the new server fc under look for this server fc underscore new underscore witness let's have a look if let's change fc underscore new underscore witness then check names okay it found in the server if you create a new folder here it won't work it will cause an issue because this witness is already being used so don't don't be, what you're going to do uh is to config to remove this one first before create before changing to a new one to before changing to a new uh server what you're going to do is just follow this one right click the failover cluster more actions configure quorum just click next and just follow just click next and click this one first do not configure quorum witness and next and 
finish. What will happen is, you see the one, it's gone. And you can see the witness, it's none. It's none here. Right? And from now, from here, you will configure the new, configure a new witness. Don't worry, it will create, recreate a new witness files. You don't need to copy the exist, the old one and new. No, you don't know. It will automatically create. So what you're going to do is right click the failover cluster, more actions, configure cluster quorum settings, just click next, and from here just select the quorum witness and click next. And from uh, here just configure the file share because we're we're looking into a file share. So click that one, the file share, click next, and from here locate the new server. Locate the new server. Browse. The new server in my example is FC new underscore witness. In your case, it could be should it could be different one. It should be different. Okay, FC underscore new witness. Okay, and here I need to create a new folder. In it, it already has a test one, but I'll just create a new one. New click new folder. I'll create a share name called AOAG uh, FC uh, Witness. Witness. Then locate. In my case, I'll just put this. I'll no. I'll put this in the root directory. In your case, it could be different one. Or you can put directly if you have already pre-configured share. You can put directly the shared folder there shared path but in my case I, I created the new path from the wizard so i'll put the folder inside the root directory in your case it should be a different one but this is only for my example i'll create a folder in the root directory and make a new folder i'll name it the same as the shared name aoeg fc witness i'll click enter and click OK. Now the location is in the root directory C under inside the folder witness. And make sure that the permission is configured properly. In my case, I'll just use the all users have read and write permissions. But in your case, you can use the custom, but I'll just leave it. Uh, yes. All users have read and write permissions, right? Okay and i'll click ok then highlight the new one then click ok and click next and then click next and it's all good and you can see here in the file share witness it has new one it has the new path the new server see down fc underscore and it's inside the aoag fc underscore witness folder let's go to the new server let's see uh it's kind of the luck i'm going to log in okay as you can see right now it created a folder called in the root directory it created a folder called aoegfc and we'll, we'll double click that one see that one it created the file already so right now because we created a new witness what we're going to do to be able to test is you need to do a test uh failover you need to do a test failover right this fc witness this is the old one see the one it has the folder also just leave it because this is the old one this is the new one it created the two files already the new server it is a system generated one so that's uh, basically that's all uh, this is the all this is how you change the settings it's just quick but make sure you do a testing you can do a test failover in your aoeg dashboard right now because this node one is the primary we will fail over to node two Make sure you do a testing. Next. Oh, I have no permission. I need to use a 
SA, but you can configure that that access to you know it, you need to grant access. You, you can also grant access to you know existing user, you know to do a failover, but in my case, uh, I'll just use the SA. And next, next. All good. So let's see node two. You can log in to node two in from the same node, but in my case, to be able to, you know, uh, easier to, you know, to show you. Uh, I'll just open it in in the machine right from the machine not in the same because it's so confusing so this is node 1 and this is node 2 make sure you click node 2 to avoid confusion I log into the server see the one the node 2 node 2 is now the primary so it worked it worked so and this one is all good now when is i'll try to fail over again i'll try to fail over so node 2 is now the primary right it's your primary so everything is good so what time 113 let's try fail over to node 1 Oh, good so that one to refresh this just click on that one that one is refreshed so node one refresh oh good the witness see the one 113 it updated so it's working if you go to the new server where you uh change the the the, the path of the witness file share because you can see it's 113 that's the, this is the time where I fail over so this confirms that everything is all good so that's all that's how you do just make sure if you are in a production just do it uh, do the change uh, after office hours well, good thank you guys for watching please hit subscribe and like button thank you